Okay, so we are done with some FLSM examples in our previous section and also we have seen some slash value how it goes. Now coming back to the major part, VLSM which is generally used to design the networks. Now VLSM is a method of dividing a networks into variable sizes, may be equal, may not be equal. It depends. Like take an example, I got four different branch offices. And in one branch office, I got a requirement of 100 devices. Probably I have some users, 100 users. And in another branch office, I just have only 20 users. In another branch office, I got some 40 hosts or 40 users. And in another branch office, I just got only 10 users. So if I go with some FLSM, so normally in this scenario, we will never go with default networks. If I use default networks, I have to use 192.168.1.0 network here. 192.168.2. network here, 3. network, 4. network, which means out of 256, I'm just using only 10. So we don't go with default networks because there is a lot of wastage. So instead of that, the one option is we can go with the default network sizes, which is something I never I never want to do that because there's a huge wastage of that of the addresses. So the next next I can go with something called FLSM where we can divide all the networks with equal sizes. So the possible size, I can use uh, 128 here, 128 here, 128 here, 128 here. So in case of FLSM, what we are doing is we are dividing the requirement. So here the requirement is, uh, what's the requirement? Requirement is 100 in one department and 14 in another department, 20 and then 10. So if I'm using FLSM, I'm going to divide them in 128 size. And if you divide everything in equal sizes, we call this as FLSM. But in case of VLSM, what we do is we divide to the nearest possible size. So which means 100, the nearest possible size, I go with 128. And for the next one, I go with 64 is the next nearest possible size. And 20, the nearest possible size is 2 to the power of 532. And the 10, the nearest possible size is 16. Now this is the major difference between FLSM and VLSM. In FLSM, we divide all the network size equally. Just like, you know, so your kitchen, your bathroom, bedroom, everything is same sizes. So generally the classrooms of any organizations, so all will be on the same size, which is something not recommended. So we, we may want, we may have a different requirements here. So in different departments. So we can have a variable sizes the sizes may be same, may not be same. I'm not saying always it will be different. It may be same, may not be same, where we are uh, efficiently utilizing the addresses. Like in case of FLSM, uh, 128, 128, I got around 512 addresses required, a size of network with 512. Here I can just use around 200 plus addresses. So VLSM is a method which is going to, uh, which will help you to further uh, simplify or further uh, reduce the wastage of the addresses by dividing to the nearest possible size for each and every requirement will be a different even though you have a different requirements we can still uh, divide them in variable sizes so that's what we do in the VLSM so when it comes to calculation the calculation goes exactly the same way the way we do uh, in case of uh, VLSM sorry FLSM it's going to be the same so here my requirement is 100 I think I'm taking 40 20 and 10 so I want to divide a network in variable sizes with this different different requirements here so let us start with the first requirement here the requirement is 100 host so I'm going to start with the higher requirement 100 host so I'm going to calculate the same way to do the power of h minus 2 greater than equal to requirement and my requirement is 100 so what is the nearest value satisfies my condition so you should be very good by this time probably the nearest value which satisfies my condition is to the power of 7 it's 128 exact 100 is not possible so it's going to be to the power of 7 and then minus 2 for network id and the broadcast id so it will be 128 minus 2 that is 126 is my valid host addresses valid host addresses okay so from this I can understand that which class I'm using I'm going to use C class here we'll do VLSM with B class and A class also 
So right now I'm going to use a C class example. So by default C class contains three network portions. That's how we know already because we already did that and C class contains one host portion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out of these bits, eight host bits, I need how many? I just need only seven. So remaining one gets converted. So it will be eight plus eight plus eight plus one. So the submit mask will be 255.255.255.128. So we already did some exercises on this slash value to submit mask conversions. So up to here, the calculation is same. Same as we discussed, as we learned, it's going to be the same here. So now the next thing is writing the range is different here. So let me just come down a little bit to write the range here. So the range always written based on to the power of h value. So right now the h value is how much? h value is to the power of 7. It's 128 is the size of the network. So in the C class, the first three portions remains the same. 192.168.1, and 192.168.1. And 192.168.1. So the first three portions remain the same. So I'm not going to disturb anything for the first three portions. Only the last portion vary depending upon the size of the network. Okay. So right now, let me write on the first range. So the first range is to the power of uh, 7, 128, which means my address starts from 0. And the next range will be 128. That is group of 128 addresses. Let me write on here. Uh, plus 128 just for your understanding how many addresses I'm using here and the range ends on 127 127 and what is the submit mask? What is the submit mask we got here? What is the slash value we got here slash 25 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1 slash 25 So I'll write down the slash value here because mostly in the documentations you will see uh, The range will be written like this Now this is your first range it starts from 192.168.1.0 and ends on 192.168.1.127 and the slash value is 25 and the size of this network is 128 is the size of the network and the next range starts from 128 and the next size also depends upon the next requirement so in case of FLSM we just go ahead and do plus 128 plus 128 plus 128 that is what FLSM where we divide in equal sizes. All the networks will be of equal size, equal size. All the networks are of equal sizes. But in case of VLSM, the next size varies depends upon the next requirement. So let's go ahead and try to see the next requirement here. So my next requirement is 40. So let me just start up with the requirement of 40 host. And what is the nearest power value satisfies my condition? to the power of 6 so it's 64 minus 2 so which means 62 is my valid host for subnet and I'm talking about which class it is it's a C class so it will be network 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 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 by default there are three network portions and one host portion so out of eight host bits I just need only six which means the remaining two it gets converted so it becomes 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 2. So the submit mask will be 255, 255, 255, 192. And what's the slash value? Slash value is how much? Total network bits. 8 is 24, 24 plus 2, 26. Now the calculation up to here, it's going to be the same just like we did in the FLSM. But when it comes to the range, the range always written based on to the power of H value. Right now, the size of the network, what is my requirement? How much? 64 is the size. So, which means now what I'm doing is, uh, whatever the addresses are divided, here you can see 0 to 127, I'm going to allocate the addresses 0 to 127, with slash value of 25 for this department. Let's say the branch office A, branch office B, branch office C, and branch office D. And I have addresses available from 128. So I'm going to allow, uh, provide the addresses from 128 and group of 64 addresses, which means uh, plus 64 here. So the next size will be 192 and my range ends on 191. And what is the slash value? Slash value is slash 26. If you remember, we calculated. 
and the next network size that is from 128 to 191 which is not exact 128 it is a size of 64 which is not same as the previous size I'm going to allocate for the next department or the next branch what is that if we come down here so I'm going to allocate 0 to 127 is already given so I'm going to give 128 to 191 with a slash value of 26 I'm going to allocate in this in this branch office done okay so the next requirement so coming back to the next requirement now the next range will be based on the next requirement so we are given this address range already 0 to 127 for some branch office a i think so and this is for branch office c now the next requirement is how much again for the next requirement we have to calculate in the same way so the requirement is how much 20 to the power of 5 satisfies my condition minus 2 32 minus 2 so 30 is your valid host per subnet and in c class by default there are three network portions and one host portion and i just need only five bits which means the remaining three gets converted so it will be 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 3 so subnet mask will be 255 255 255 224 and the slash value is 27 so when you're writing the range, the range always written based on the to the power of h value. So the size of the network which I require is 32. So which means group of 32 addresses here. So it becomes how much? 224 and my range ends on 223. So from 192 to 223 with a slash value of 27, 27. And this is the size of the network. So the address starting from 192 to 223 is a group of 32 addresses. With a sub with the subnet mask of slash 27 okay so that's how we do vlsm similar way the next requirement uh, requirement is just 10 so i'm going to go with the next requirement here the requirement is just 10 bits so the nearest value satisfies to the power of 4 uh, is 16 minus 2 14 is your valid host per subnet and then network 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 host 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so host bits I require how many just 4 so it will be 4 gets converted it becomes 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 4 so the subnet mask will be 255 255 255 240 and the slash value is 28 and if you come down to write the range and here 192 to 223 is already given I think I have to allocate here 192 to 223 I'm going to allocate for this for this branch the slash value of slash 27 so I'm going to allocate 224 to 239 with a slash value of 28 anyway I'll write the range over there because group of 16 addresses so the next requirement is how much it's just a 16 addresses to the power of 4 16 is the size of the network so 224 to 239 will be a group of 30, 16 addresses with a slash value of 28 so this is my next network with a group of 16 addresses my requirement is just 10 but exact 10 is not possible so still I have addresses available from 240 so I think I can use it if I have one more requirement of 16 let's say I can use from 240 to 255 with a slash value of 28 and 28 or you can have a requirement of two networks with 8.8 eight, something like that okay so if you just try to observe here the size of the net, each network is different like here it is 128 here it is 64 it may be 32 here and here it is 16 here it is 16 now whatever the c class network i have used now the c class network uh, what i have used let me draw it here take some space here so whatever the C class network I have, it's further divided into some multiple sizes where I divided one network uh, with a 0 to 127, I located here and then I divided 0, 128, to 6, 128 to 191 which is a 64 addresses. So which means here actually I have used this is the size of 128 and then this is the size of 64. And then again I got a one more size of 64 and that size of 64 we are further dividing into two parts 192 to 223 that is one size I have used here 
and then again I got 32 addresses in that I have divided into 16 16 again so if you see the C class network we are not using the exact same sizes everywhere it may be same it may not be same it vary now this is what we call as VLSM and VLSM the network size varies and when it comes to production networks in designing or implementations we use VLSM because each and every branch or each and every requirement will never be the same all the time okay you will definitely have some variable requirements so whenever you have these variable requirements we generally go with VLSM kind of examples so probably in my next video I'm going to explain you the same example but I'll, I'm going to use some shortcut methods where it will be more easy for you to follow up but again for that we need to have some strong step-by-step uh, -step calculation process you should have a very good understanding to follow that step-by-step -step shortcut methods so that's something i'm going to explain to you in my next video